Hello everybody, I'm Tobias Simmons, creator of The Young Forager, and today I'm going to show you my top 10 lists of spring edible plants. I'm going to show you how to identify these plants, I'm going to show you how to identify potential lookalikes of these plants, so I'll take you with me. This plant right here with the giant leaves is often given the name Elephant's Ear. Its real name is called Burdock, and Burdock has these amazingly large leaves as you can see here but the actual content is under the ground in the roots. You see, under the ground, there's usually a root that can be about three feet long and is insanely dense with calories. So you need to dig this one up to have the content, but make sure you've got permission first. I would love to be able to walk down here because it's filled with weeds, but it says no public access and you've got to respect the land you're on but this would be such an amazing place to go foraging. The camera will focus. There we go. All of this land down here, in particular, is filled with dandelion, which is an amazing natural plant. It is one of the most nutritionally dense leaves that I have seen personally. The flowers are really easy to identify as well, so that's a really easy identifier in spring and summer. Some people also say that if you dig up the roots, you can roast them and make them into a coffee, but I personally don't think it tastes very much like coffee but you can try it for yourself if you want to find out more. In fact, I might make a video doing it to show you guys exactly how to do it. If you'd like that, let me know down in the comments. This footpath in particular interests me, so we're gonna go up here. This is perfect actually, because the next plant I'm gonna talk about is right here. All right guys, so the next plant we have is clover. And I'm not entirely sure whether this is red clover or white clover because it isn't flowering at this particular moment. But I do know it is clover because it has chevrons on each individual leaf. There is one lookalike for clover, which is wood sorrel. But wood sorrel grows in woodlands. Uh, it is also edible and it, I think it personally tastes nicer than clover. But wood sorrel has more heart shaped leaves. This has more oval shaped leaves. Look at this forgotten door here, this gate here, which leads onto a path which is um, completely overgrown. In memory of Frank, memory of Frank Seer, I hope you're resting well. A lot of what's covering the bank of this path here is garlic mustard, which is a plant I've covered a lot on this channel actually, and the leaves and the flowers and the stalks all taste of garlic when you eat them. You can identify garlic mustard by its flower heads which consist of four petals and multiple of the flowers individually to create a group. And the leaves are serrated and pointed at the end and they grow opposite on the stem. All of you guys are gonna get this one. This one is stinging nettle and it's called stinging nettle because of the tiny hairs on it that break off when you touch them. They actually break off and inject small bits of acid into your skin. It's a harmless acid, um, but the plant as a whole is actually edible and you can remove these hairs by adding a flame to it, cooking them up, drying them or crushing them. And I'm going to do a tutorial on how to do that if you're unsure. If you want to see that, leave it in the comments. I've got to walk through this field, hopefully not being ambushed by these evil horses. Let's hope I don't get trampled on today. Although I do think that would make amazing content. I think that'd be a great title. Now this plant here is dead nettles, which they're given the name dead nettles because they look like nettles, but they don't sting you. Um, they have these white flowers instead, which make them really easy to identify. You can find them in white or purple, but the purple doesn't look as similar. I have a video on purple dead nettle on my channel, which I'll link here, but this plant is edible and very easy to identify. There's something down there, right there. And I don't know whether you can see it on the camera, but it looks like an abandoned vehicle. I'd love to explore it, but unfortunately this bit of the woodland is being controlled with poison. So I'm not going down there. The leaves of the hawthorn tree are edible and they're really delicious. They sort of have this nice apple -y flavor to them, especially in the berries that it produces in summer and autumn. The leaves are very easy to identify once you've got the image in your head. They're not that big, so keep that in mind. So don't mix up with anything like oak leaves. You can tell due to the size. Also, they have these thorns on the stems which can hurt you if you accidentally touch them, which I just did trying to film this clip. But yeah, hawthorn leaves is a very good one for you to know. It's 
as we walk over here there's quite a lot of litter on the ground so I've made it my practice at the moment to pick up as much litter as I can so these are going to come home with me and I'll put them in the trash where they belong not out here if you guys haven't already please consider hitting the subscribe button it really does help out the channel and I've had a lot of people subscribe recently uh, we're coming up on 70 subscribers as of recording this video and I'm sure that we're going to go a lot further with your help thank you very much Running up the side of this tree here, we have cleavers, which is an edible plant. The tops are edible. Uh, I personally wouldn't recommend it. It doesn't taste amazing, but it's one of those plants that is always there. It's edible, um, and there are lots of medicinal content to it as well. And there are small white flowers, which you can see on it now, which you couldn't quite see before. So I'll show you those. I hope you can see those small white flowers on the end there. You guys are definitely not going to be able to see this plant, but up next we have narrowleaf plantain, which is similar to broadleaf plantain, except the only difference is the shape of the leaf. It has all the medicinal contents that broadleaf plantain has, and it is also edible. I've actually shot this clip here just to show you broadleaf plantain next to narrowleaf plantain, so you can tell the difference. They're quite similar. Right, I hope you've all learned something from this video. I hope you've all enjoyed the video. If you did like the video, give this video a like. Give me all the feedback you guys can in the comments. It really does help the channel grow. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.